All right, and we are back. Um, now, we took care of the initial setting up of Shopify, making your account and syncing it to Printful. And now we're going to get into some back end stuff to really make your store work. Okay. So here we are. And this is our um, dashboard for Shopify. And we're going to go right down here to settings. Okay. Very important. We're going to click right here. And you're going to see right over here on the left hand side all of this good stuff. And I'm going to take you through this stuff. And uh, you have your general settings, payments, checkout, shipping, taxes, notifications, files, sales channels, and account. I'm going to take you through these. Uh, some of these I'm going to get in detail and other, others not really because I'm going to go through the basics of everything you're going to need to get your store up and running. And later on, you can come in and customize things and make them how you want them. Okay. So this right here is general settings. You got your store name, your account, uh, uh, email. And your account email right here, this is very important when we get to payments because, as I said before, you want this to match your PayPal account, okay? Because it just makes things a lot smoother. And if you don't do it right now, you might forget it. And then you, if it doesn't match, you might get a sale or something. And it goes into this account that doesn't exist and it could be a real pain to get that money back so you 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 just want to if you're using paypal you just want to have this set up to be the same email as your paypal account and just alleviate any would-be problems okay uh your legal business name if you have one uh phone number address all that stuff down here and your time zone I mean and all this stuff is default information standards and formats you don't have to worry about this stuff it's want to have your address in okay and the thing about this is that um, the store address is important in that because if you're doing with printful your this is going to be where your returns are going to go okay so if you're using printful you can use their address and you know printful will take care of any returns or it can come back to you and then you can contact printful or, or do whatever you want you know what i'm saying but this is all on you whether you want the returns because the returns will happen you know hopefully very you know rare but you know if you want it to come to you automatically defaulted is they're going to come to you if you put this here but you can change it to the um printful if you're using printful or print art you can change that okay so that's that that okay the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go right here to payments all right now you're going to see there's a couple of things you have your shopify payments okay that's powered by stripe all right and you can go right here and uh if you want to you can use this this means that you, it's going to automatically be able to take all the credit cards and all that good stuff and it's really really cool uh but the thing about it is with this one you get paid um sometimes in a week um you don't get paid right away and you know, everything has to be facilitated facilitated through um stripe and shopify and after everything is cool then they'll give you your money you're not going to get paid right then and there on a the day but you know it's but it is cool in that you get to take you know all the credit cards right then and there so how you do it you just go right here and you um complete setup uh, complete account setup now, if you um, sole proprietorship individual, you just leave that blank. If you have an LLC or something, you just go to go through whichever one of these is appropriate. Your LLC, a nonprofit corporation, whatever. Okay. Uh, and if you have uh, an EIN number for your corporation, you would put that right here. Your business address, you put that right there uh, at the bottom.
and let's go down here you put your name your last name your date of birth and your social security number okay next but the average order price if your t-shirt is 25 20 whatever your price is going to be for a t-shirt you want to put that right here shipping time zero to six days you can just leave that description of products and services you know hey this is a, a t-shirt company we manufacture t-shirts something like that this is your customer billing statement okay um, this is what's going to be on the billing statements that um, the people get. So whatever your company name, you want to put that right here. Your phone number, you want to put that right here. And this is pretty much, you know, how it's going to look with the statement. Okay. Now, your banking information. Okay. This is how once all everything has gone through and it's been processed. And when you get your money. Okay. You want to put your routing number. That is your bank's number. Okay. You can, if you have a check, you can go right there and look at your check. You're going to see the routing number. Okay. You put that in. And you can actually Google, you know, whatever your bank is. You can just put in Google. That's public information, the routing number. Okay. For your bank. Chase, Bank of America, Carver Federal, whatever your bank is, you get your routing number. All right. And it should be on your check. Your account number is your account, whether it's your business checking, checking, savings, whatever. That's your private number, okay? And you, once again, you can go right here. Or you can just call your bank and get this information. And you put that in, okay? And then when it's time to get paid, boom, you get paid. It's as simple as that. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go right here to checkout. Now, this right here is very, very, very important because this is going to be when a person says, hey, you know what? I like this T-shirt or T-shirts, plural, and I want to buy it. So um, this is how you can set all of this up. So you ever go to some place and you buy something and you just want to get it and leave and then it's just like you have to put in all this information and get an account and sometimes you're just like uh, you know what forget it um you can disable all of that okay or you can click right here and you can have it optional i like this because this gives people an option because if they make an account they can always come back sign in and buy more stuff and you like that so account optional really really cool okay uh, or you could just have it disabled. If you just want people is in and out, and you want you want um, the process to be as little bit of information as possible, um, you could just they don't even see it, okay? Or you can go right here where account is required, meaning they have to put in the information to get an account in order to buy something. I don't suggest that. Any reason you know online, you know people's attention, people have a short attention span. You know what I'm saying? And I'd be like, you know what? Forget it. So I suggest this one or this one. Forms, okay? Require last name only or require first and last name. Um, this is optional. Um, just last name is cool because they have to write less. I actually like first and last name, you know? Um, company name, I like to keep that hidden address optional you know just 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 keep that optional it, it just it just helps you know i'm required nah hidden nah just keep that optional that's just my suggestion phone number hidden you know that's another thing that people have to add oh you want all this i'm out so i say keep that hidden but it's, it's all it's all up to you order processing while the customer is checking out use the shipping address as the billing address automatically that's great because otherwise they would have to type more stuff you don't you want the process to be as simple as possible when they're checking out so you just put that automatically and if they see that and they want to change it it's a gift or something like that or the billing is different or something they'll see it and they'll change that okay ask for permission to send um pr promo items um by you can do that by default customer agrees to receive 
I like this one. Just make it by default because you do want to keep in contact, you know, with the person. Be like, hey, there's a sale, send them a promo code or something like that. Or if you don't, you know, disable and hide, you can do that. Um, by default, customer does not agree to receive, you know, but no, I think that's best. Okay. After an order has been paid, do not automatically fulfill. You want this if you're using print on demand, because otherwise um, this has to be processed and you're dealing with someone else and you're not automatically doing it. Another an, another third party is doing it. So you just want to make sure that do not fulfill. Right, and, there, and that works for any time you're doing any type of drop shipping. After order has been filling, been paid, automatically archive your order. This just helps um, with keeping your records and things. So just keep that checked. And this is any additional scripts. Um, just leave that how it is. In case you wanted to, you know, have some special script that does something special in there, you don't have to worry about that. Now this is your checkout language. If you doing stuff in another language you want to go here and change that automatically as mine is defaulted as english okay down here is your refund policy now if you have something special you want to put it there you can do that and type it but here you just click there and it automatically generates and you want to read through this and make sure that you're you like it and it agree and it's cool uh and that's it and you know you can do the same thing you just keep going down privacy policy automatically generate it read it make sure that you agree with it and you like it you want to make any changes go right ahead because you know technically it's your store terms of service same thing you know you want to read this but it automatically generates and it saves you a lot of time and having to, to make this stuff up all right and that's it and you just want to click save Now, we've done these three. I don't want this video to be um, too, too, too long. So I'm going to stop it right here. And the next video, we are going to go through the rest of these. Okay. Uh, all this stuff is very important. And this is the stuff that you need to really keep your store running properly. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next video.